I'll read from the book of wisdom. God did not make death, nor does he rejoice in the destruction of the living. For he fashioned all things that they might have been, and the creatures of the world are wholesome. And there is not a destructive drug among them, nor any domain of the netherworld on earth. For justice is undying, for God formed man to be imperishable. The image of his own nature he made him. But by the envy of the devil, death entered the world. And they who belong to his company experience it. The word of the Lord. And the responsorial song. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from on those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you are rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his good will. At nightfall, weeping enters in. But with the dawn, rejoice. I now praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I now praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. The second reading is a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as you excel in every respect, in faith, discourse, knowledge, all earnestness, and in the love that we have for you, may you excel in this gracious act also. For you know the gracious act of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, for your sake he became poor, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Not that others should have relief while you are burdened, but that is a, a matter of equality. Your abundance at the present time should supply their needs, so that their abundance may also supply your needs, that there may be equality. As it is written, whoever had much did not have more, and whoever had little did not have less. <clears throat> the word of the Lord. Through the gospel. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to the Lord. When Jesus had crossed again the boat to the other side, a large crowd gathered around him, and he stayed close to the sea. One of the synagogue officials, named Jairus, came forward. Seeing him, he fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him, saying, My daughter is at the point of death. Please, Come, lay your hands on her, that she may get well and live. He went up with him, and a large crowd followed him 
and pressed upon him. There was a woman afflicted with marriages for twelve years. She had <coughs> suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors and spent all that she had. Yet she was not helped, but only grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. She said, If I but touch his clothes, I shall be cured. Immediately her flow of blood dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. Jesus, aware at once that power had gone out from him, turned around the crowd and asked, Who has touched my clothes? But his disciples said to Jesus, You see how the crowd is pressing upon you, yet you ask who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. The woman, realizing what had happened to her, approached in fear and trembling. <coughs> She fell down before Jesus and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be cured of your affliction. While he was still speaking, people in the synagogue official's house arrived and said, Your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher any longer? Disregarding the message that was reported, Jesus said to the synagogue official, Do not be afraid, just have faith. He did not allow anyone to accompany him inside except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they arrived at the house of the synagogue official, he got sight of a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. So he went in and said to them, Why this commotion and weeping? The child is not dead, but asleep. And they ridiculed him. <coughs> then he put them all out. He took along the child's father and mother and those who were with him and entered the room where the child was. He took the child by the hand and said to her, Talita kum which means, little girl, I say to you, arise. The girl, a child of twelve, arose immediately and walked around. At that, they were utterly astounded. He gave strict orders that no one should know this, and said that she should be given something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God is good? All, All the time. time. All the time. God is good. I have good news and bad news. What do you want me to say first? <laughs> that? The bad. the bad news. We can finish up with the good. Yeah. So the bad, bad first, the next good. So the bad news is, I'm staying. Oh. <laughs> Sunday. That's why we announced at the beginning 
there will be second election because there is an office in, in the Vatican to help struggling uh, seminaries uh, formation. So our contribution is for the uh, training and formation of seminarians all over the world, those who could not support themselves. So that's the office of the Vatican. So for today, that's for that purpose. And today also, the dedication of the Blessed Sacrament Cathedral of our diocese. So we have different prayers in opening prayer, offertory, and uh, communion prayer. So if you, have, if you could notice in your copies, I use different prayer. That's for the dedication of the church, the prayer. For our reflection today, beautiful uh, day, Sunday. Amen? Amen. Are you sleepy? <laughs> <laughs> so can you do this? <laughs> and after we say awesome. Awesome. So let's say awesome. 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 I think you're not awesome. <laughs> So today we reflect on, in our day-to-day -day lives, if we have, I'm, sure, I'm not sure if, maybe I, I have said this also to myself, maybe you, you or you heard your friends, people around you saying, why God let these things happen? Why God let these bad things happen? Why God? let evil things happen. Have you asked that? Have you asked that to yourself? Or have you heard that to others? From others? It's those kind of questions. For me, I have heard that many times. You know, ask, being asked. Maybe I have said that also to myself. But that's the usual question. When we, we run out of things and people to blame. We blame God. Right? Why God let these bad and evil things happen? And that should be, that should not be the right question. The right question is, why man let these things happen? Are you there? Yes. yes. The, the very, the very the very answer to that question is our first reading. Very beautiful first reading from the book of wisdom. The first line answered that God did not make death. The book of wisdom, our first reading. God did not make death, nor does he rejoice in the destruction of the living. For he fashioned all things that they might have being. And the creatures of the world are wholesome. So everything God wants us light and in the light. Amen. 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 We only experience darkness, we only experience death when we turn away from God. We turn away from the light. We turn away from God. We turn our backs on Him, then we experience just the light, and we turn away, and we there's darkness. Because the light is here, the light is here. And so, what's what's our disposition in our in our day to day lives? In our gospel today, the miracle, the healing of the woman with hemorrhages and the daughter of Jairus. The Lord said, do not be afraid, just have faith. So that everything, in all the things that happen in the world, do not be afraid, just have faith. So always, do not be discouraged in, in the woman with the hemorrhages. Always, she always tried her best to press on going closer to the Lord. 
and Jairus did not concede or did not listen to the people. Your daughter is dead. Why bother the teacher any longer? He did not listen. The Lord did not listen. Because there are many people like that in our world to discourage us or some hindrances in our daily lives to, to press on to the Lord. But we must lean on, press on to the Lord's side. And we will have light. And we have light. Lean on me, the Lord said. Press on. Do not be afraid. Just have faith. Amen. 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 We are, we are, we are so blessed. Saint John Marabiani said, "We, the angels, envy us." <laughs> Just his reflection. Why? Because we receive the Lord in communion. Saint Teresa, the child Jesus, Mother Teresa. If people would realize the value of the Eucharist. We would line up in the church. Always. The woman said, if I, if I could but just touch his clothes, I shall be cured. Touch his clothes. But we receive the Lord. Not just touch. We receive the Lord. That's very special. Awesome. Awesome. We receive the Lord. And so, as we continue to, to live our faith day to day lives, there are many hindrances. There are many problems. We must not be discouraged. Priest on. Lean on. The Lord said, do not be afraid. Just have faith. Amen. Amen.